Students will create a landscape with a focus on the element of art line. Here is an example of the finished art piece. Line is a path created by a moving point mark or object. There are many types of lines, thick, thin, horizontal, vertical, zigzag, diagonal, curvy, curved, spiral, etc., and are often very expressive. Lines are basic tools for artists. Here are some examples below you can use in your line landscape. A line's width is sometimes called its thickness. Lines are sometimes called strokes, especially when referring to lines in digital artwork. Here are the materials you will need to complete the art project. Watercolor paint, a ruler, a cup of water, paper towel, a pencil and eraser, ultra fine point Sharpie marker or fine point as well, paintbrushes, and watercolor paper. Make sure you use the rough side of the watercolor paper. Start by creating your landscape using a pencil. Make sure to add a variety of different kinds of line. Use a fine point black Sharpie marker to trace over all of your lines. Finally, it is time to paint. Get out your watercolors, a paintbrush, a cup of water, and a paper towel. Start by wetting your brush in the water, and then you can dab it a little on the paper towel to remove any excess water. Start to rub the wet paintbrush on the watercolor that you choose. Generally, the more water you have on your brush, the lighter the colors will appear on the paper. Make sure you clean your brush in the water before choosing a different color to avoid a dirty mixed up brown mess. In this sample you can see how the student did not apply enough water to the brush because the blue comes out very dark and you can actually see lines created by the paintbrush. This is a result of not using enough water. Remember to use a variety of line and keep your work neat.